Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer. Back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries. I love you guys so much. The song that's playing is She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5. Okay, and this is the channel song that I got for your reading. She Will Be Loved, okay? Go listen to that song. All right, guys, go check that song out by Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved. Because that's the song that I was getting. I was I was hearing that song, and it, it's a beautiful song, by the way. When I listened to it, kind of made me tear up myself, okay? So this song, um, She Will Be Loved, is basically a song about a woman that's been through so much pain, that's been um, scorned, that's been um, rejected, that's been abused by men, that's been treated as if she wasn't valuable, okay? This woman came from a broken home, a broken family, like, um, destruct destruction in her life, right? Because of her family members, where she actually came from, okay? So this song is about a woman that pretty much didn't even love herself, didn't love herself enough, didn't believe that she was beautiful or amazing. And my beautiful Aries, okay, male or female, you guys will be loved, okay? You guys are amazing. These are parents and family members that you guys have in your life that literally wanted you to believe that you will never be loved, that you were never good enough, that there was something wrong with you, that you were um like the black sheep of the family, like you were always left out of certain events or, or certain things that the families, you know, could have did together. It was almost like they um, wanted you to feel not loved. They wanted you to feel not worthy or validated, okay? Especially when it comes to your father figure. This is what this reading is going to be about, okay, my loves? She Will Be Loved. Go check that song out. That is your song for this reading, okay? And the message for your reading is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this message out because it's been a long time coming. And Spirit wants me to get this message out, okay? Because you guys are going to you guys are going to be able to heal. You guys are going to be able to move forward. You guys are going to be able to understand why everything happened in your life the way it did. Why the, why there was so much orchestrated trauma and conflict in your life? While somebody might have touched you when you were a little child, could have been an own father figure or family member because this family took an oath, okay? Because this family knew who you were when you were first born. This family knew that you were the chosen one, the golden child of this family, the gifted one. Okay, so they took an oath to uh, make you feel otherwise. My beautiful Aries, for some of you guys, this message is a specific message. If this is not your message, don't come on here with some rude comments because I will block you. Okay, this is a specific message for some of my beautiful Aries out there that you need to know who you are. You need to know where you came from. You need to know um, exactly why things happened. Okay. Your father is not your real father, Aries. That's not for everybody if this message doesn't, doesn't pertain to you. If it does not resonate with you and your spirit, then you don't have to watch it, okay? This is a specific message. Your father is not your real dad. A mother's secret. Yes, a mother's secret. Your father is not your real dad. And there's orchestrated trauma in your life. Okay, your real father is your uncle. For some of you guys, your real father is your uncle, your father's brother. The only uncle in the family that accepted you guys, that treated you good, that bought you gifts, that even took the time out to get to know who you were. Okay, orchestrated trauma. Took an oath to sacrifice you guys. They, um, This mother figure, for some of you guys, this mother figure doesn't know. Not everybody's mother was in on it. Some of you guys, your mother didn't even know because your mother could have been drugged. Okay, while these two um, men could have took turns and raped this woman. Okay, so some of you guys, your mom w went through some sort of trauma. Your mom doesn't recollect what happened. Your mom could have been under a series of spiritual or psychic attacks due to her family members as well. Okay, because some of you guys, your mother was actually gifted. Okay, so they put your mother through a lot of stuff. Okay, so... Um, for some of you guys, your mother actually took the oath. Your mother was in on it. Your mother knew that this was not your father. Your mother didn't tell you the truth. Your mother allowed a man that wasn't your father to touch you when you were a baby, a small child. Didn't want you to grow up innocent. Didn't want you to be loved, but you will be loved. She will be loved. Okay. This is the message. Wow. 
Then your mom could have hated you because you were your uncle's child. Your mom could have hated you because you were favored by this uncle or you were this uncle's child. Your mom felt like um, scorned and bitter because um, your father, your real father, didn't accept you, left your mother because of it. Your real father could have left your mother. You, she, he could have abandoned you and your mother and just left. And this is your mother's fault because she never told you the truth or your mother um, knew what she did. Okay? This was the... Um, oath they took for um their father to abandon you and your mother to act like she doesn't know who your father is or to lie to you and tell you that this man's your father when she she knew that wasn't your father okay if this is resonating with some of you guys and this is really resonating and you guys might need a personal reading with me because you guys are gonna need to know the details everybody's situation is different so you can actually heal your shadow side and you can actually evolve and ascend. Because to get into your calling, you got to know the truth about who you really are. You need to know where you come from. You need to know all these things so you can heal. And they don't want you to heal. They don't want you to be loved. They don't want you to find love. They want you to be lost or broken in your life, right? But this is, this, this is coming out to the light because your ancestors are taking the lead. Your ancestors want you to hurry up and know the truth so you guys can just... Like, block these people. If you're in a happy marriage, this mother or these family members are trying to ruin it with black magic. They never thought you would get into the position where you become a leader, where you become the first millionaire of your family, where you become successful, where you help other people, where you have a beautiful family of your own. Oh, they never betted on that happening with all the orchestrated trauma they put on you. You weren't supposed to make it this far, Aries, but you have, okay? And that's the problem, that you made it this far, so now um, your family members, they're getting desperate, my loves. They're getting desperate. They're really desperate. Some of these people are having ment mental breakdowns, and some of these people are trying to plot and plan how they're going to um, make it look like a robbery and take you guys out and do you something, Aries. And your ancestors are standing right in front of your door, right in your back door, your front door, all around your house. Your angels are inside your house just waiting for these individuals to try it, Okay. Your ancestors are going to pick up the world. Literally, I heard that song. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to pick the world up and I'm going to drop it on your head. I don't know if that's Little Wayne. And I'm going to pick the world up and I'm going to drop it on your head. That's what I heard. I'm going to pick the world up and I'm going to drop it on your effing head. And that's what I heard. So you can listen to that song, too, by Little Wayne, I think. If that's Little Wayne, let me know in the comments. Aries, but your um, father's not your real father. For some of you guys watching, it's actually your uncle, your father's, one of your father's brothers. Um, and some of you guys, your mom doesn't know about this. She's confused about who your real father is, but she doesn't know the truth of what they did to her. And for some of you guys, your mom actually was down with the shit. Your mom actually took the oath to do that to you. Okay, so everybody's going to be different. But I had to come on here and give you guys this important message. Some of you guys, I hope you guys went to the river or the beach and you took your spiritual bath. You guys are really needing to do this ASAP, okay? Someone's passing away in your family. It could be a mother figure or a father figure. Someone's ill. Someone's passing away. Someone was choosing to take the secret to their grave. But there's going to be like a family member, another family member that knows the truth. There could be an uncle, another aunt, or a family member that's going to tell you guys the truth about your father. Or that's going to confess or you're going to ask somebody and they're going to tell you. It could also be a grandmother. There's a grandmother that knows the truth or a grandfather. Okay? Yep. A woman holding a heart. Okay? So the woman holding a heart. Number 44. Okay? This is what I'm getting. You guys are really paying attention to your heart chakras. You guys are trying to heal your heart. You're trying to reinvent yourself and renew yourself. Healing yourself. Becoming abundant because of it. But there's this woman that like literally, I, I, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm getting a message when I see this card. There's a woman that literally has, has like um, possession over you or something like that. Or like she binded herself to you. This could be a mother or a family member. And she's really like trying to block your heart chakra from healing. This woman has been trying to block you guys from healing your heart chakra by not telling you the truth about your father. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, this this mother figure and these family members, this they hold a lot of hostilities. You can have siblings that don't even get along with you. 
they're hostile towards you because they know the truth that, about your real father and they know that you're the gifted chosen one in the family. So they feel some type of way. And they're not even telling you this. But this mother could have been speaking about this around these other siblings. <clears throat> so they took an oath to go against you as well. Because you, they feel like you're going to destroy this family when the truth comes out. They feel like you're going to destroy this mother figure, this family. When you find out they've been stealing your inheritances. Hmm, they're hostile. Exactly, they have hostilities. Main energy. Yes, and they're very envious. I can't make it up. That's what I just said. They're very envious and they're hostile. Okay? Because you chose to reflect. You chose to heal. You chose to move away from them. You're getting your blessings, your accolades, your manifestations are coming in, Aries. Like I'm saying, multi-million dollar um, business deals, um, businesses. Like you guys are um, building your empires at this time as we speak. Yes, last card out. You guys are the healer of all ages. You're a healer of the ages. You're a powerful healer, empath, earth angel, star seed chosen by the most high God. Look, look right there. Look at that card. I can't make it up. This is why they didn't want you to know who you were. They didn't want you to know who your father was. This, this, these people wanted not for you not to heal your heart. Basically, yeah. They wanted you to have a broken heart forever. Broken heart right here. Can't make it up. Look, this woman's holding your heart, but she wants to make sure it's broken in pieces. She doesn't want you to rejuvenate and heal and reinvent yourself, but that's what you're doing because here's this damn sun card. The sun card is telling you everything you need to know. Make a decision and walk away. If you're still in decision about these people and your family, please make a decision and walk away, my loves. Okay? That's all I got to say. <clears throat> Why? Look, I told you there's 110 cards in this deck, 110 cards in this whole deck that I created. And the first card that I see when I split the deck randomly is that you are the gold. You are the golden child, Aries. You are. You are the gifted one in your family. Okay, you inherited all your ancestors' gifts so you can, you know, so you can free your ancestors in the spirit realms when you expose these people, aunties under investigation for stealing your inheritance. Okay, this auntie knows that this uncle is your real father. That's why she never liked you, Aries. Pay attention. Pay attention to these people. They're shady. Okay, they're always going to make you feel some type of way about yourself. Mm -mm -mm. Whatever card pops out was meant to pop out. Like I said, this is a big deck. All my decks that I created are huge. Okay, there's a lot of messages in these decks, so... Pay attention to what's popping out on this desk right here, okay? Because the first thing that I that I see, I can't make it up. I can't even talk. It's almost like my words can't even talk. I'm so upset right now because, yes, this mother allowed this father that wasn't your real father to touch you as a child. They could have put you to sleep. You could have woke up in a random place and was confused. Growing up, you fell asleep a lot. Like on people's couches in different places. This man was touching you when you were little. And now they're going to want you to hear them out. Because the truth is coming out to the light. About this nasty family member that was touching you when you were a child. That touched other family members. Other cousins. Or whatever. Your sisters and brothers got touched by this man. Mm -mm -mm, damn. What the hell? And there's these stalkers that are driving past your home. Or this stalker. I, I got this uh, vision of somebody hiding in the bushes, like literally somebody in your backyard or in the back of your home or in the dark sp spot of your home, like in the back of your yard, somebody like in hiding in the bushes with a black uh, hoodie on, watching your home because the sudden tower is exposing them all and they're going straight to jail. Yeah, because they took an oath. They each even hired someone to take you out. Okay, but you're a freaking water healer. You're a healer of the ages. Wow. Yeah, you have a lot of childhood trauma, bad memories coming to the surface. But you know your worth and now you're blessed. Major awakening. Oh, wow. Yeah, when I did the fire sign reading, I was pulling some um, numerology cards and the video just stopped because my phone is set up to only record 26-minute videos because I can't afford to, to record any longer videos on my phone. I don't know why, but that's the way my phone is set up. Your ex created a lot of rumors about you. Your ex took an oath with these family members, this deceitful sister or cousin, to take you out. 
right? And um, some of the, like, I feel, I'm, I'm getting that there's like a cousin or a sister and her boyfriend. They're, they're on the run. They're literally on the run. They're shook because um, something came out to the light about them con contacting, like, gang members or contacting an uh, individual group of people to, like, um, gang stalk you, to project fear, to try to scare you, and to try to break into your home or harm you. And you guys were always 10 steps ahead, so you could have moved. Right when these people were planning to do it, you could have moved, you could have relocated. Or right when they were planning to do it, you wasn't home, you left, or you just made a different decision at the time. They couldn't actually do it. Every time they try to plan it, it doesn't work. It backfires on them. You're, an, you're a powerful shadow healer. You guys are meant to have a successful multi-million dollar business. I can't make it up. You're going to be compensated, Spirit said, for everything you guys been through. Your fake friend or your cousin or your sister cheated with your, your, your ex or your lover. You have a major business deal coming, a partnership. Let these people go. They're trying to hold you back because you will, you will stay stagnant if you keep dealing with these individuals, okay? Any other cards, Spirit? Oh, shit. Wow. Okay, so all those cards popped out. I'm going to take them. If you're seeing crows, you already know somebody's playing with death spells. Somebody's doing death magic, death spells, uh, freaking graveyard spells on you guys. That's why you're seeing the crows, because you're getting justice. Okay? Yes, focus. They're using confusion spells. You could just go to the river, and the confusion spell will go away. Like I said before, most powerful spiritual bath. You will get justice in court. You're getting a huge payout. Eating healthier is going to help you um, increase your spiritual gifts and your energy. You are a powerful empath. And that is not your dad. That was a betrayal. There you go. The card is here. Like I said, there's a lot of cards in this deck. All these cards came out. This is the main message. Aries, that is not your dad. Wow, look what came out. Mother under judgment sold you out with this fake ass dad. Orchestrated trauma, orchestrated events, orchestrated adoptions, all this orchestrated stuff in your life. There you go. That is the truth. This is what's going on. Because you you were the golden child. You were gifted. You were the powerful empath. And that's why they took an oath. Okay? Yeah, but you will be compensated, my loves. You will be compensated. And you also will be loved. Okay? You're, you're going to come into contact with your higher level soulmate. Some of you guys that are already with your level, higher level soulmate, congratulations, my loves, that you guys connected with your soulmate. But protect that connection. Protect that marriage. Protect that home from these people that want to come and sabotage it for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Let me get a couple messages from the Psychic Tarot. Psychic Tarot, give me a couple messages. Ancestors, spare out Anna, speak to me clearly. What is the message for the beautiful Aries? Watching this video, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node Spirit. And Venus. For the Aries, give me the messages, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. What is the main messages from the Psychic Tarot? What do you want to say? Okay, yes. Oh, wow, all these cards are flying out. Okay. The universe. The universe is backing you up. The universe is working in your favor. The universe is bringing you the awareness. The awareness that you need right now so that you're able to heal. Prosperity is going to begin, my loves. All the seeds that you were planting, all the harvest that you were waiting for is here. It's about to grow this beautiful, fruitful tree, and it's going to continue to bless you and manifest blessings like the wheel is going to keep turning in your favor. Like this tree is going to grow in your foundation, and you and somebody else are coming together in a partnership. This is what I'm getting. The universe is bringing this to you. This is your destiny. You are destined for greatness. You're destined for a, a, a chosen path. Movement, choices, and decisions. You're making um, better decisions moving forward. You're moving on from these people, moving away, moving on. Okay, you have a lot of ancient knowledge and wisdom, my loves. You are being balanced out by the angel of balance. You are very fertile at this time, fertility. Some of you guys are going to be expecting a child with your 
higher level soulmate. Some of you guys are going to have children from your higher level soulmate. And some of you guys that are not having children, some of you guys are just birthing this new idea, this new project, this new business, or this new energy about yourself. You're, 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 you're investing in yourself right now. Yeah, and no longer playing the waiting game. Okay, because you are protected by the light. You are protected by the most high, the angels, and the white light aura. Okay, guys? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Some of you guys, your Wi-Fi's are being hacked into. Your devices are being messed with. Somebody got a key to your home. Or somebody got an app on their phone and they're controlling your devices from their app on their phone. And they think it's funny. They're gang stalking you guys. Yeah. This person could be a male. I'm picking up on a male that's doing this. A narcissistic male. Could be a family member. Could be an ex. Could be an obsessed ex-lover or something like that. Let's get some messages from this deck before I end the video, Spirit. Your angels are guiding you guys. The judge will be fair. So there's going to be a new judge that's going to make a decision in your favor, my loves. Dealing with court cases or inheritances, this judge will be fair. You will get justice. Some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's getting caught on surveillance. Getting caught on surveillance. Stolen lawsuit or settlement money. You're going to receive it. Somebody's getting out on bail. Somebody's locked up right now. I want to marry you. Yep, somebody wants to marry you. This person's going to come in and propose to you. Somebody's been admiring you, Aries. Because you're freaking bossing up. Because you are the baby boss. You're bossing up, okay? Some of you guys have twins or you're going to have twins. That's not for everybody. Yep. Somebody's really missing your sweet lips, Aries. Somebody really missing you. <clears throat> God is bringing you and your family together. There's a karmic that's getting readings, Aries, pretending to be you. So I just heard that. You're having a big windfall of money. Yeah, and there's a karmic that's getting readings, just uh, get, going to like tarot readers. So if you're a tarot reader watching my channel right now, watching my videos, um, please be mindful that there's karmics out here that are literally getting readings. Okay, they're getting readings on the Aries, using the Aries information. Ooh. Yeah, so there's karmics out here getting readings, pretending to be you, Aries, like using a fake account with your information, like trying to tell this tarot reader that she's a divine feminine. So there's karmics getting readings, pretending to be the divine feminine. So please pull some cards on everybody that you're going to read for before you actually read for them. And ask your ancestors if this is a karmic or a divine feminine, okay? That's easy. If you guys read tarot, you can definitely do that. Check on these people before you're reading for anybody. Make sure they're not the karmic and they're pretending to be a divine feminine. Okay? Thank you, spirit, angels, and guides. Somebody already tried to do that to me. Just to let you guys know. You're the best I ever had. I see you in my dreams. Somebody really sees you in their dreams, Aries, okay? Somebody's really dreaming about you. Heavily thinking about you. Divine intervention right now is in your favor. You're dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person's going to approach you or this person's under judgment. Either way, you're activating all your chakras. Yeah, you already know that this weird ex has this bisexual secret. He's bisexual, gay. New information. Remain calm and meditate, guys. For some of you guys, this evil stepdad is freaking gay. Some of you guys, this evil stepdad is like bisexual or gay. Involved in the occult. They, they, these people have ritualistic sex. So just to let you guys know, okay? So let me see how much time I got. All right, I got enough time to pull a couple numerology cards for you guys. Because... I feel drawn to some number messages, ancestors, angels, spirit guides. Give me the messages with the numerology. 252, God's promise. Okay, some of you guys have been seeing angels. I mean, angels, yeah. Some of you guys could be seeing angels in your dream. Some of you guys could be seeing angels in the clouds. Some of you guys are just seeing uh, rainbows. Because I told you I seen a rainbow. And that's, that's significant to God's promise. Good job. Okay, God's promise. Ooh. 
one three one is be being true to yourself is gonna help you win. Being true to yourself is gonna help you um get into your right path, get into your calling, get into your to your purpose, calling in your soulmate when you're being it's basically like loving yourself first. One three one is is telling you to love yourself first. Receiving divine guidance from the Most High, from the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Higher Beings. You're receiving guidance, channeling, messages, synchronicities, downloads, 777. If you're getting downloads and prophetic dreams, please share that message with everybody. Everyone needs to hear your message. God is giving you messages to share with other people. This could be your purpose. 444, strong connection with the angels. 444, having a strong connection with the angels here. Very protected here. 525, five, life changes for the better, my loves. You're making significant changes for the better in your life, and that is beautiful. Okay. 878, eight, all your hard work is paying off, my loves. All your hard work is paying off, and you are being rewarded. Okay. 666, six, six, let go of toxic energy because new beginnings are on the horizon. Okay. When you let go of toxic energy, you have made the right choice. 711, you have made the right choice. Okay. So these are the messages, my beautiful Aries. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. I'm available for personal readings. So if you guys need clarity on the situation, you can reach out to me. My email's down below. I email you back right away. My readings are affordable, my loves. Until the next time, love you guys so much. Namaste.